Hi, my name is Jamie Bergner. I'm an occupational therapist, a certified hand therapist, and a certified orthopedic manual therapist. I'm a full-time clinician at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. I also teach live continuing education courses through the International Academy of Orthopedic Medicine, US Hand and Upper Extremity Track. I'm adjunct professor for Cox College in Springfield, Missouri, and I also have continuing education courses through MedBridge. So welcome. I'm really excited to talk to you today about my course that I'm going to teach for this conference. So we are going to talk about the dynamic scaphalunate interosseous ligament rehabilitation, a therapist management of pre-dynamic dorsal intercalated segmental instability. So really exciting topic to talk about with some really great research. So there's a few things that you're going to learn from this talk. First, how to analyze those patients that come in with a diagnosis of wrist pain, very unspecified, not sure where to go about treating them. We're going to cut to the chase and figuring out which of those patients might be a pre-dynamic dorsal intercalated segmental instability. Next, we're going to take that information that we've learned and learn about the, the arthrokinematics of the wrist, those dynamic movements that occur between those carpal bones, and how important it's going to be to bring that scaphoid into extension next to the lunate for that dorsal co coaptation that is required for that SL ligament to heal. Next, we're going to take a look at our manual therapy approach of the radial column and how important it is for the mid carpal joint to move. That's the function of our dart throwers motion. By working in dart throwers motion, we're going to offload that SL ligament. But if it can't move because it's stiffened up to splint or support the SL ligament, then we can't recruit that, that plane of motion. So I'm going to show you some techniques that'll help with that. Next, we're going to look at the function of the ligament, that recruitment system to support that neuromuscular control and offload the SL ligament when it's in trouble functionally. So we'll take a look at those SL friendly muscles and how to recruit and utilize those in our rehab and how to inhibit those SL unfriendly muscles. And I'll give you a clue. It's on the ulnar side of the wrist. Okay, so once we, we look at the, the system and working that system, next we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna move into the dynamic rehab program where we look at how we can get that fast, efficient recruitment and with some fun activities in the clinic. So we'll take a look at that and design that comprehensive rehab program that will really help your patients get better quicker. And we'll also educate and partner with our clients to make sure that they know their risk for progressive instability down the road so that we can modify those activities and really make sure they can engage in the things they love to do in a very wrist healthy way. So I'm really excited to see you and talk to you soon. Have a great day.